What's up guys, it's Chan here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have two things planned. So first, I'm headed over to Golf Town um, to pick up my golf clubs. I had all of my irons re-gripped because they were in terrible condition from the last two years and I personally don't know how to re-grip clubs so I just let them do it. Right now, they do have a sale on the grips so I think I got mine 40% off which was great. I had, I think, eight clubs to change and it came out to, with the service fee, it came out to $100 even. So after tax it was about 113 Canadian dollars to get them completely regripped and then afterwards I'm gonna head over to an indoor simulator and show you guys this location if you're interested and also I'm gonna maybe play a course the paramount simulators I will leave their website and information in the description below so you can go check that out you can book online and I think their prices are pretty reasonable for the weekday they have three different prices depending on time weekdays Monday to Thursday after 5 p.m p.m. is like the second most expensive. We booked an hour and a half and it was $40 Canadian. I think that's a pretty good deal. Because my boyfriend is left-handed, we did have to book a simulator that had both hands. If you are interested in coming to this location and you are left-handed, no worries because they have multiple simulators that cater to both hands. With that being said, let's head over to Golf Town. <music> So here are all of my irons completely regripped. I got the Drytech 2.0 Win Grip. I love this grip. This is actually the one that I had before, and I like that this looks really sleek. It's black with like these royal blue lines running through it. It is one of the softer grips, but I have really small hands, so I find that these softer grips absorb some of the shock from the golf club. And also, I find that this like soft and slightly te tacky texture is really good for different weather conditions. So for example, when it is a little bit rainy outside, I don't find that this club slips at all, whereas some of the other grips that that I have had before that come that came like with the golf club I find that those sometimes they especially when it gets a little bit wet out they do slip a little bit more so if you are like me and you have smaller hands and you like that soft feeling I would strongly recommend these ones definitely go check them out like at the golf town or at your local golf store it's always good to feel any grip that you want to change so for example for your putter or for your irons or for your woods it's always good to kind of hold them with a club and just try it out and see if you like it but these are my favorite not sponsored to say this these are just my favorite and I've been using them for a few years now every time I've changed in the last two years which is not that often but whenever I do change I always change it to this one now, while I'm here, I get this question a lot, and that is, which wedges do I have? So I don't have the wedges that come with my set. I have the R11 irons from Pitching Wedge to 5 Iron. But then for my sand wedges, I have two from Cleveland. Let me show you guys. So the first one, my favorite one, is this one. Let's focus. It is the 56 degree CG 15, um, and then it has a 10 bounce. Um, the bounce means the curve here from the lowest point, so you see how it's a little bit flat. This actually helps when it's above 10, it's considered a high bounce, and that just means that the club will more easily cut through softer surfaces, like bunkers or roughs. And I find that it is so helpful. That's why these are the easiest wedges I've ever hit with, and it's really easy to hit flop shots with these. And then I have the 60 degrees focus with a 12 bounce the same club just a higher degree higher loft and higher bounce so this with the 12 loft is extremely high bounce the bottom part here cuts through all surfaces really well and I don't usually use my 60 degrees I only use it if I'm playing a course where the green is super fast or if I'm in a bunker and there's like a big ledge in front of me so whenever I need to get the ball to pop up and then drop and not move anywhere that's when I would use my 60. These are my two wedges and they are my favorite favorite wedges that I've ever hit in my life. 
If you are thinking of investing in a sand wedge, definitely look for something between 56 and 60 degrees. I think that gives you the most, the best amount of loft. And if you're thinking of hitting some flop shots, that's a great option. Be careful of the bounce number. I am not like a golf clubs expert, but from my personal experience, a higher bounce does help with softer surfaces. So if that's what you're looking for, just remember that for the next time when you're looking for a new club. this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it would really help my channel comment down below what grips you guys like to use or any indoor simulators that you guys would recommend to me I am in downtown Toronto I do have a car so whichever one is the most convenient for me to get to given traffic or distance I will try it out if there's anything else that you guys want to ask me about my golf set about anything golf related for me leave them in the comments down below I do have some different interesting videos coming up just because life is going in different directions so stay tuned subscribe if you want to keep up with my journey through golf and travel I will see you guys in the next one bye